So we've seen how to take a higher order ODE and write it as a system of first order differential equations. Uh, if those differential equations are linear, we can write that linear system in matrix form. So let's go through how to do that. We have an example right, where we have y1 prime equals negative 3y1 plus 2y2 plus 3 minus 2t. And y2 prime equals negative 5y1 plus 3y2 plus 6 minus 3t. What you want to do is think about the left-hand side of these equations as being the components of a vector. So y in vector form has components, well, sorry, y prime in vector form has components y1 prime and y2 prime. Then the solution is a vector y that has components y1 and y2. So on the right-hand side, we have sets of terms that have y1 and y2. We're going to ignore those for the minute. We're going to focus on the ones that do not have y. They just have t, or independent variable. So the 3 minus 2t and the 6 minus 3t. But we want to think about those as components of the right-hand side forcing function that we would normally see in a differential equation. So let's go ahead and write out what that would look like as a vector. So if we just took out those parts of the equations, we have the first component of f is 3 minus 2t, and the second component is 6 minus 3t. All right, so we've got a vector for the left-hand side, y prime, and we've got a vector for the right-hand side forcing function. Um, now just look at the other terms that have y1 and y2. And we want to think about those as being a matrix times the solution vector y. So we're going to write this out, and then uh, we can verify that it does, in fact, give us those terms. So a will look like this. So notice that the matrix A just has the components that are the coefficients of those terms, negative 3, 2, negative 5, and 3. Right? So you remember how matrix multiplication works. Right? If we were to have A times Y, then we would have that matrix we just had times the vector y1, y2. And then if you use matrix multiplication, right, we would multiply the first row times this column. So we have, this would give us negative 3y1 to y2, negative 5y1, and 3y2. So we get 
that. So multiplying the first row times the column vector gives us the first row, and then multiplying the first second row times the column vector gives us the second row. And of course, those are the terms that showed up in the differential equation. All right, so we can think about the differential equation system now all in terms of vectors and matrices, and it would look like this. Let's get it all written out. Y1 prime, Y2 prime. Y. And then lastly, we have F, which is right there. Three minus two T, <coughs> six minus three T. All right, so end of the day, system has that matrix equation. And that's it.